All right, ladies and gentlemen, what is going on? Welcome back to another uh, series on the channel that I'm getting ready to start right now. And we are starting the Resident Evil 3 remake uh, series. So we just got this a couple days ago. Finally was able to pick it up and get it. And uh, we're going to be running through the entire game. Uh, this is going to be part one all the way to the end. I'm not sure how many parts there's going to be. It just depends on how long each episode is and uh, trying to get through the end. So, I'm really excited about this one. Um, this looks absolutely amazing. I've watched a little bit of gameplay on it, not too much, so I really don't know um, a lot about it, which is good. I try to stay away from most of that kind of stuff whenever new games come out so I can experience it for the first time myself. So we're going to go ahead and start a new game here and see what we get ourselves into. <laughs> so, so, we're going to do it on standard. And here we go. This pandemic has spread faster than any disease in modern history. Angry mobs around the city, crashing buildings. Authorities are bracing for more rioting tonight. He was knocked unconscious in his full life. A citywide emergency has been declared. The CDC has quarantined the lower Midwestern region of the U.S. Officials Commitment, honesty, integrity, these are the core values that create the foundation for Umbrella. It's this foundation that will continue to build a brighter future for all of us. This is where we get to actually walk around for the first time. Uh, this is a room, obviously. I don't see anything here that we're supposed to pick up. TV's all blurred out. It's absolutely downpouring outside. Here's our desk. Can't really do much here. go through any of these doors either. It just has you go through the uh, the bathroom door over here. No. 
Let's take a little Maybe calendar. Then I can kiss this town goodbye. Changing like the brightness in here, and it's kind of weird. Like, it's just not overall changing the uh, the overall layout. It's really weird. There they are talking about this. I guess we go back to the. Uh, bathroom here in a second. Already been two months since I messed with Umbrella. Thanks to the suspension, investigations haven't progressed any exactly as I hope. Perhaps this written record of what I found will prove my data as STARS officer. I can only hope it leads to the truth. Those infected by the virus seem to become literal zombies. It appears to be commun communicable, communicable via several different avenues outlined below. Bite from an infected individual allowing the mixing of bodily fluids. Contact with crows which have eaten infected carrion. And due to the strength of the virus, airborne infection cannot be, discount, cannot be discounted. It should be noted that those who survived the incident have not yet developed symptoms. It's unclear whether this is because the virus has a long incubation period or because we just happen to be resistant to the infection we ought to remain vigilant even after this investigation period ends as for me aside from my minor difficulty sleeping i seem to be in fine shape still i shouldn't get too hopeful after all this could be just an extended incubation okay well, that's good to know um Pharmaceuticals company industry leader in the market share focus on military weapons developed by the maintaining cover in the pharmaceutical company, also secretly developing bioweapons. Virus outbreak in Arclay Mountains research facility predicted the mansion incident. Uh, conspiring with Raccoon City leadership, large donations in the Mayor Warren's office effectively controls the city. Okay, I think that's everything here. Now that we've got the uh, the power on in here. Looks like we're gonna go back to the door again. Need to read what this is here. To Jill Valentine. Hey, hot shot. How you holding up? I still can't believe Iron suspended you. It's such bullshit. He ought to pin a medal on you for making it out of that hellhole back in July. Of course, you're going to poke around and ask questions about it. I hope you're not mad at me for keeping my head down. Everything's been happening so fast. Stars was on pride, was the pride of the force. When the chief was disbanded, disband, disbanded us out of nowhere, I thought for sure I was going to lose my job. Word has it you're planning to leave Raccoon City. I figured you wouldn't take the suspension lying down. Just promise to watch your back. Umbrella won't sit by while you try to dismantle their business. Take, t take care, Jill. Brad Vickers, Stars Alpha Team, now and forever. P.S. Had to slip this message to the pizza guy to avoid detection. Enjoy the extra large meat, Mega Meat Supreme. It's all me and the guys. Cool. All right. Don't look like there's anything else here that we need to look at. So let's go back in here again. <sighs> I 
This is where we start the third person process. Look at that. Hello? Jill, are, are you okay? Brad, is that you? Listen, you gotta get out of there. What are you talking about? I don't have time to explain. You gotta get out of there right now. All right, let me grab my... Ah! Oh, shoot. out of here. Better run. Okay. What was that thing? Tim to find though. But right now it's got a hard on for the only two stars left in town. You and me. I'm not sticking around. Just look around you. The longer we wait, the more screwed we are. How did this all happen so fast? I don't know. One fucked up thing always leads to another. It's like Arclay on steroids.
found a gun, boys. Fun ammo. You, down there. Get to the parking garage roof. Parking garage. Got it. Sir, are you all right? Uh, stay back. Don't come any closer. Hey, come on. There's a helicopter waiting to take you to safety. What safety? I'm not going out there. The parking garage isn't far. I can do The only it. safe place. Here. Sir, what's your name? I can't just leave you behind. It's Dario Rosso. And yeah, right. You just want to steal my safe house. Get your own, Missy. Missy? Would you please calm down? I'm a police officer. I'm here to help. Undead monsters! Now leave me alone! There we go. I think I suck. Great.
I got you. Who are you? What are you doing? James Carlos, and I'm saving you. Come on, let's get you someplace safe. I think we're in the clear. Hope so. We've been bringing survivors here. Here where? My guys have converted some subway cars into a shelter. It's safe. I'm fine. Personal space. Okay, I get it. Let's go. Oh, come on. Who's the dipshit that closed this? Sorry, we're gonna have to go around. Hey, what do you know about that monster? Nothing. I've never seen anything like it. But it's no zombie. It knows what it wants and won't stop till it gets it. Don't you like that in a man? No thanks. He's all yours. <laughs> Listen, I promise you're in good hands. I'm with the Umbrella Biohazard Countermeasure Service. UBCS for short. Are you kidding me? Are you fucking kidding me? You guys are the ones who caused all of this. Whoa, 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 whoa. What are you talking about? Look, you don't have to trust me. But I'm going to the shelter. You coming? Come on. It's this way. Hey, Captain. This fine young lady could use our help. Carlos, you didn't even think to ask fine young lady her name? She is an elite operative of RPD, Special Tactics and Rescue Service. Her name is something Valentine. It's Jill. Nice to meet you, Jill. I am UBCS, platoon leader Mikhail Viktor. My team was sent here to rescue civilians. Right. How's that going for you? The city is completely cut off, isolated. Most of the 100,000 civilians will wind up dead. Uh, correction, undead. My platoon has suffered serious losses. Just keeping them alive is more than I can manage. Well, you can thank your corporate overlords for that. Yes. Well, we are doing all we can. If we can get this subway train moving, we can evacuate some survivors. But we need help. My men cannot do this alone. I'm in. But I am on their side. Not yours. Oh, hey. It's cool. We all want the same thing. Thank you, Jill. All right, super cop. Here you go. We can use this to stay in contact. I know what a radio is. Okay, first things first. We need to get you geared up. Head up to street level. You'll find supplies there. All right. Yet? Working on it. So what's the plan? The old tanks got me clearing the tracks. You mind getting the subway infrastructure back online? 
And how do I do that? Let's start by restoring power. I'll navigate you to the substation once you hit the main road. Copy that. Let's do this fast. Give me a second, guys. I'm just trying to learn all the new controls here. Um, So for high produce, potency mixture, I need two green herbs. Maximum is green herb, red herb, or three green. Grab them if you see them. Okay. It almost looks like I could get this working if I plug in the right whatever it is. Knife ain't gonna use it, is it? Nope. Whenever there's a key around here somewhere. so bad at shooting. I waste so many bullets. I'm trying to see if there's like a place we can go in over here to get like supplies and stuff. Yeah, we need a key. We need keys. We need to figure out where these keys are at. I think you can search vehicles too. I haven't actually tried that yet. It's only certain ones though, I think. Alright guys, um, we are going to end off part one here. Um, been playing for about 17 minutes. And I think the beginning was like five. So this is the first. This is part one. Um, hopefully this, this part does well. Uh, we will be back with part two as soon as part one is uploaded. We'll just keep uploading the next ones until we are 
completely finished with the game. This game looks absolutely amazing right now. Um, you know, I'm having a lot of fun with it already, and I'm, I'm loving it. So uh, thank you guys so much for watching and tuning in, and we will be back with part two.